Hello everybody and welcome back to the Riven, a legacy of a master thief and uh, we're stuck at the medical place now, do we? We are, yeah. So um, what we're going to do to get in there, we'll have to um, kidnap uh, Dr. Gehurt, put him in our bedroom and uh, tie him to the bed at, no, uh, that's, that's wrong. steal his key, there we go. And not make him walk for a month. Uh, <laughs> what, Should we go to, uh, if we go to the door? No, can you click on that thing over there? I'm going to go to the door and see that fire alarm. Oh no, it doesn't look like Looks it. like a fire alarm, You're though. lucky that the Lydia has a well-stocked medical centre at its disposal. Um, so <laughs> yeah, definitely. He has actually got a key with him, so we're just going to try and sneak into his room and steal his key. Um, I get that's the opening time. Let's have a look at the model of the ship there. Might have a key lodged in there somewhere. Lydia before it was Probably not that. I'm guessing the killer has hid the gun somewhere. And what the gun? Were added later. Oh yes, the, the gun. Shot, yes. The gun that shot the man thing. The uh, transvestite. Let's have a look at this uh, thing. Baroness, uh, the Baron. Baron. Oh wow! Did he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought he was going to sit down there. That's a new move. That's called the um, is it on the shuffle. Oh yeah, it's all the uh, all the leaflets um, and that. He's looking the wrong way. The doctor thing. Oh no, he is. Hey, he's got eyes in the back of his head. He's oh. This uh, Zel Zelna guy is a very good fella. He's got uh, very talented. What's he called? Uh, Peripheral. No, photographic memory. Um, oh. <laughs> a picture of it. And go that way. I'm looking at the plant. You got to look at everything, Watson. Ship seem less dreary. A bit of. It's all in the work. Would have helped more, especially since the plant then. won't survive long without daylight. I want to look for that PayPal. Look under the mat. Ah, oh, that's Legrand's cabin. We can. Oh, let's all yak. Oh, let's go in his cabin. Yeah. Let's go down that way. Okay, I'm going that way. I'm going to examine the alarm, pull the alarm, hide under the bench thing, because I reckon that opens, and then you like go and go into like the bench. One was set no. off yesterday. Yeah, it's one of those uh, ID this IDLs. Hasn't been set off. The security seal is intact. Well, let's wha let's whack it one. Oh, should we go and examine his door? Okay, the camera should. Oh, it hasn't changed. That is Legrand's cabin. You can examine the hallway. Can we have? Can we enter it? Oh. Let's knock on his in. door. Come oh, in. He's let us in. Wow. He didn't even ask who it was. <laughs> it it could be. have been the raven. He's waiting for someone. Oh, the raven. No, Oliver. Oh, wow. Ah, Zelda. It's like an office in here. Good morning, Inspector Legrand. I'd hate it if it was my ship and someone was making a room into an office like this. <laughs> Chloral hydrant. What's he got in the test tubes? Mm. That's Chloride or hydrate or something like that. I wonder what it does. Shall I drink it and find out? Of it in your oh, turn to the old See outside. Looks good. What's with the drugs, buddy? And this chloral hydrate. Chloral hydrate. That's it. Tranquilizer. Can be dissolved in alcohol. The effect begins in minutes. And you bastard! Did you do it? I gave you the glass of champagne. Oh no, he's, he's examining it. Whoops. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm uh, not it sure. The captain, but he could have got the glass from someone else. Yeah, it could have been passed along there. Oh, yes, a line of glass people. The uh, the glass mob. What they, have uh, found out so far? Got that machine. The, the glass cube. The chest at close range. We heard. Oh, pass it on. The oh, look at the pictures. The pass it along. The murder weapon over the railing. The fireplace. Cooking a simple pot. story. So what? Bed. But why was? Is he even took a picture of the bed where that bloody. Guy woman's lion, the Baroness. Wanted to make it seem like a suicide. Mm, it's a bit weird. Is that her bedroom? Is that her bedroom? Yeah, she took a picture of her bedroom. She's not in it. Took a picture of the, the thing she's lying on there. The door from uh, inside. You know what I kind of wish? I kind of wish our chap was younger. And like actually a policeman. Because then he could examine the, you know, the uh, crime scene. He gets now uh, privileges, does he? Well, he doesn't even get a sports bra, but he gets to wear that uh, t-shirt, which is kind of awesome. You think he'd get a sports bra, though, wouldn't you, to keep them boobs up? You would have stood the railing to let it fall unseen. And since he doesn't know the ship, he has a painting boy and dropped it right. Picasso, nice one, nice one, Picasso. You turn the back of us. That's it. Let's let's examine it. The raven was here. A bit. Neither do I. What type of gun was it? It was a wooden gun. Matter, you bastard! A pistol. A Luger oh. always. Oh, Luger. Antique. Manufactured a million times during and after the First World War. Austrian model. The owner what? is David Kreitzer, the violinist. 
Ah. We found him tonight, totally drunk on the bow of the ship. He confirmed. I knew he was up to something. That violinist. He claims that it oh, it was Starlet. Oh, I can get hurt, Starlet. Nothing. But yes. no fingerprints. No, get hurt. Has gloves. Yes. And it's definitely the murder. And he was in the cabin. The ballistic tests are he passed me my drink. Well, he was next to me, wasn't he? When they passed me my drink. Bullet recovered from the corpse. No, he was looking at your head. Maybe uh, did some to your head, put some on it. About the that bullet. Got your bloodstream. It is. But they found something in these glass of wine, so. As I suspect. Shut up, man. He might put that lighter. Shut up, man. I know what I'm talking about here. And he came out and um, left John the, on the ship and he was bent over. In more detail? When I have time. For now, though, that says wrong. That Who's in the exam? There can't be too many antique Luger 08 pistols on board. Okay, let's Next, search all the cabins. Look at the Baroness's cabin. We already searched it thoroughly. No, you didn't. But what you didn't do it the Zelda way. By daylight. Yes, yes, fine. It can't hurt. Here's the Zelda way. On the way, you done. Oh, he's giving us the key to the room, dude. Thanks. On the way to dinner. Yes. You know, in his I toilet. Find anything important. Ah, maybe, yes. Oh, this toilet, yeah. He tried to flush it. Oh. Funny, yeah. oh, I can see something on the, uh, see it. Uh, should we say goodbye? Goodbye. Let's on move on. I want to find Adios. Who gave me the drug champagne. Good idea. Let's get out of this joint. Don't like this hell Are oh. you okay? You been drinking wine? Or has he been drinking the chloride stuff? I can sleep once oh, what's been? The raven. Goodbye, constable. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. Um, I want to go in his bathroom. See what's in there. Oh, yeah. a turd. A turd. Yeah, flouter. Flush here. Um, Legrand is risking not just his career but his health as well on his hunt for the raven. He's working like a demon. Well, look at you, you fat bastard. Yeah, that's why he caught Hampton <laughs> and no one else. You want to stop eating those burgers? Go, uh, that's it, yeah. Examine the old way. I'm not paying for this trip, and that's a fair price for my cabin. It's uh? uh, plain, shall we say. Well, let's get out of here. Let's go to her room, yeah. That's the plan. I'm going up to her room. See what's in there. There better be no more weirdos in there, though. trouble going up the stairs. Get his footing right, or he'll fall. Yes, he's got to be. He's got to be careful, you know. Especially at his age, he's getting on there. This is on the fella. Okay, let's go in a room. Yeah. What if we find like something weird, do? A man keeney. Oh, like <laughs> a son that she uh, keeps his thing tucked away. <laughs> yeah, a bloody hell. A tattle tucker. A G string. A tattle tucker. A tackle tucker. <laughs> Is that the call them? Tackle tucker. Ah! Someone left blood on the bed. The fireplace. Uh, yes. Evil fuck. Oh, oh! There's always something behind a painting. Safe. A safe, yes, or something like that. By Van Gogh, I presume. He liked to paint. The, the colours in there, contortion is original. They cost thousands of francs. That's by Van Gogh. Huh? Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Van Van Gogh. If I take one ear off like that, it's either, Van, gonna... it's either Van Gogh or Van Gogh. Um, depends how you like to say it. Yeah, should we examine her luggage? I want to examine that blood on the bed. <laughs> examine her luggage. Let's examine that blood on the bed. <laughs> Still blood on oh, the yeah. She's not here. You have to go to the bed. Come in for that. Sheet and have already been removed. To analyse them, I suppose. Have we left that pile of bit of blood on the bed, though? Can we get, like, something to... Maybe we use that with that. That's stupid, Zelna. You stupid buggy. You're not meant to think like that. Sniff it. Have a good sniff. Go on. Get your nose down there. Have a sniff. Tomato sauce. Nothing. Igno nothing? Why, why, why would you say nothing? Let's search your cupboard. Steal some of her clothes. What? Some male clothes. Holy fit him. Hmm. A tape recorder. Tape recorder. What? Go with the built-in speakers. That's a bit weird. Of the cabin's furnishings. Really? This is some posh room then, because I've never seen one of those. The tape recorder is older than the hills, but it was top of the range. And it does... Okay, can we like, no. pull it out or anything? We should be able to like... Get Let's the... examine the vase, it looks like Ming. A big, ugly and impractical vase. It's not ugly! It's, wider opening, one could it's all right, you put loads of flowers in it, looks nice. Hmm. 
Stick your nose in. Oh, he's having a sniff again. Bloody sniffing. Anything. Wow. Shake it. Turn it over and shake <laughs> it. That's it, yo. Feathers. That might be a clue. Ah. Um, the raven always leaves feathers. Any type of feathers. He leaves any type of feathers. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Nothing special. Although... It seems but like one of the are. feathers was scorched at the top. Literally burnt. Burnt? What? That makes no sense. I we'll have to take that back to Legrand. Okay, let's look under the bed. Get under there. Come on, oh. Zelda. Get on your hands and knees and get under there. Burnt feathers. Oh, no. He used the pillar. He shot a for the summer. Singed as well. What? The others. More feathers under the bed? Yeah, no. We're finding loads of feathers. It's he, a, he put the pillow on the gun, trying to muzzle it. We're, we're it. like the bound collector, but we collect feathers. Oh. He's having the mannequin. Yeah, it's some some stuffed with the that. He shot through it. Came with the cabin. Ah, the maybe add one of those. You know the things on Austin Powers. A more generous. <laughs> oh yes, the, the, <laughs> the nipple shooters. The nipple. Yeah, the nipple triplers. Yeah. Oh, should we have a look in her desk? Ah, oh, she seems to have left a note there. It's her notepad. Who's her note? Hmm. You see that box there? The looks like a magician's box, I doesn't it? All the first -class cabins have Don't you think that? Uh, it's a uh, big luggage thing. Well, we can drop! Okay. Oh, oh, scribble there! Scribble! That's it! Yay! No, it looks to the writing. Here we go! Ha! <laughs> yeah! There we go! Okay. <laughs> I don't have to put an age to it. That's the street lingo, that is. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh. Inspector. B. No, Inspector oh. Clue, sir. Now, Inspector. Be in the saloon at 10pm. There is a murderer on boat. On board. Uh, oh. And I will expose him. Oh. Who's that signed by, though? They don't sign it, do they? She could have signed it. Baroness Vincol North. Is that enough? Now top corner. Have we left anything out? I don't want to leave nothing out. Smiley face. Where's your smiley face? There's no smiley face. Stop putting smiley face. Oh, this pencil's useless. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, we figured out that. No, I still can't read the What, message. you, you <laughs> dumbass? Oh. We've got to we've been scribbling here all day. Do it all over the writing so you get all the... No, we've got to get behind you. That's it. Inspector! Stop being a dope and there bloody read. There was a saloon in the murder. Ah, oh, shaking the old desk here. <laughs> okay. But the webcam's rocking. There you go, you dumb bastard. Bored. Okay, okay. I think we got it, there. I think we got it. It's on the bag. There we go. Legrand, can't you read now? I'm not Legrand. B, you Zelna. B. I forgot B. Is that right? For Barry. Go up, you gotta get. For Baroness. Barry. Barry. Or could it be like um, Baldrick? I know I'm Baldrick. I'm coming to kill you today. Oh, yes, I've done it. Um, Bloody hell, I couldn't read that though. Bert von Winkel. Be in the B. saloon at 10 p.m. Where's B? Baroness? Wouldn't it be Baroness, would it? Butler! <laughs> B. No. The Baroness seems to have Barry Scott? The murderer, and no. <laughs> that the Raven Come get yourself a bang. Murderer. He never killed anybody. Legrand probably never got the message, otherwise, he'd have said something. What a dumbass. Okay, can we take the letter with us now? Look at this too, portable oh, cupboard. Lou Grant took the letter with him. Yeah, go in the portable can cupboard. Can we actually have a look at the um, fireplace and that or not? Yeah. Is that not allowed? No, you don't know. We can look at the luggage. You know. She's got a friggin' knapsack. Oh, it's a purse. I'm gonna find that for her. Didn't have to ah, yes. Tell her butler to unpack them you think the butler would be like God, wouldn't on. you? Did we find the purse? No, we didn't find we the purse. find the purse. So was the purse back there? I don't know. The Baroness's handbag. 
That's really weird. That's a handbag, though. So, a purse. Is a purse in the handbag? What? That's a diary. Oh, it's a diary. Let's read it. More leather Yesterday I was a man. 1964. Oh, God. <laughs> this must be the Baroness's diary. The operation was a success. Uh, what, should we just read it? Dramatic? Yes, the Tato Tucker works see. perfectly. <laughs> uh. Yes, it's a diary, all right. Difficult to read. Wow, she got weird writing that shit. Nah, they just can't read. No, yeah, to read that bloody thing. Mother's not going to be an entry from yesterday, is there? You dumbass. Oh, God. She's dead. So she writes at the end of the day. What she's oh. done recently. <laughs> Met Morris. Arrange benefit concert Who's Maurice? of Louvre South Maurice. Time Met Maurice. Time to shoot for Eye of Sphinx. What? B M. Poor excuse for photographer. Two B M. Could that be the B guy that sent that letter? B M. And so on. Bert Maurice. No. Um. Um. Not Bert. Bert McGee. The handwriting is. Bert McGee from. Bonus Monomy. From, from Dearland. What? Yesterday would have from an S. Monomy. Yes, Ma and Monomy. Jays. Jays, what's with all these little letters? Put the full name, you lazy cow. Shite. Okay, is that all we got to do now? Make it easier for us. Almost every J and bloody B. Okay, no, take, take the diary. Oh, yeah. Can't take it. What's up on the side of the bed? We can examine the blood again. Oh, yes, should we examine the blood? Oh. I don't know, it seems to make me examine the blood now, so... Should we just uh, examine it again? The blood spot is the only sign that... Hmm... So That's... The blood is so... Red. Shouldn't it gradually darken in the air? Yes, Turn that's brown? because it's so... Ah, it's tomato ketchup! The unusual... All cat... Hey, can we take a sample? The unusual... Cut all cat... We can take. Can we take a sample off that? From that for the. Oh no. What's this here? Type recorder. Should we examine that again? Hmm. I might find something else. Oh! And it's the wrong. Well. No. A real we'll take that one. By Zeibling. Zeibling's tapes can be. They used in offices so that executives can record messages for the secretaries on the same tape over and. Oh, okay. Not good for much else. They're robust, but they don't offer much in terms of sound quality. The sound quality is enough on these. Should we take it? Yeah, we'll take that. So, what can we do with this? I want to exa do something with the blood, man. Maybe we should play that in. Okay, um... So, well, I can't get a blood sample yet. So we'll door. have a look at the portable cupboard there. Looks like there's tape off across that door. Across the drawer, sorry. Doesn't it? Most unportable What's that? mantle I've ever seen. Get in there! That's it! Oh, it's one of those things. That's just a weird. Portable bar is more like Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Portable bar. Let's get drunk! Heavy thing half Time for celebrations, me thinks. The Baroness was We're getting somewhere with the blood in that, aren't we? Only with the crime scene. By the explosion. An impressive piece. But I don't oh, think it'll get have a look in there. Oh man! What's in that trash can? Oh, nothing. We can't go anywhere, can we? We can examine that again, but no point examining that again, is there? Should we get out of this joint? Ah, uh, we shall. Yes. We could go to the Grand. He's very grand, you know, and he, we might actually uh, be onto something here. Oh! Oh! The Baroness is ah. like he didn't get much sleep. I would describe his facial expression. You was meant to be guarding her. Worried. And look what you did, you left her for dead. Maybe he uh, shot her. Let's talk to him. We'll take a lovely. Um, we'll plump our bum down on that uh, lovely seat there. Hello, talk Mr. to this Inch. bastard. Oh, Constable. Mr. Inch! Hello. You look the way <laughs> you wear. Wow. Mr. Inch. Wow, what a name. Terrible. No one will hire her. The thing he did the operation. Don't move her, Inch. My no, I'm sorry. Would you hire a butler who's been mixed up in a murder? But if it turns out that you're not guilty, if, but what if not? Who else would they blame? There are no gardeners on this ship. <laughs> well, I'm blaming you, gardeners. Under these circumstances, I'm sure you'd. Gardeners, what? Gardeners. I know, but your name, wouldn't you? 
Of course. Makes no sense, does it? Uh, should we have like, uh, alcohol consumption? Yeah. The Baroness seemed to be pretty drunk the last time I saw her. That's because she got yes, drugged. So. I think. Does that surprise Not entirely certain on that. Did the Baroness not drink? Oh yes, she drank. It was no secret. I understand. Uh, how? I mean, look at all that bloody cabinet in there. Serious enough. There's uh, that box full of them. Having a big bloody thing with you, portable bar. Wow. Well. Yeah, I'm not drunk. I just carry a portable, portable bar with me. Like so many elderly. Makes no sense. Does not. To hospitals and the like. Uh, ransacked cabin. Cabin seems to have been ransacked. Indeed, sir, by the Baroness herself. Oh, really? What? She was searching for something the entire afternoon. And did she find it? I think she did, sir, yes. She was in high spirits when she finally left her. Hmm. Uh, you wonder what that was. know what mm. she was looking for, would you? I'm afraid Drugs. not. A tattle tucker? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, a fake, um, uh, man, uh, to think. Uh, <laughs> Don't you describe the Baroness as all? Oh, I've got hot. Well, she, she so, are we going to solve this crime, though? Because um, I have no bloody idea. That doesn't answer my question. I kill everybody in the ship. Take a lot of luggage. That would solve the crime, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, everyone off our back. Yeah. That was a murder. We know the ship blew up. Very angry mm. when she couldn't find something. Unless we hit an iceberg. Well, that actually wouldn't solve it. That would just be I hard, saw in her cabin. I really don't so, know. So, I don't know. Maybe we get the violinist. Me, sir. Memories from the war. I don't know he's gone. They meant a lot to her. <laughs> last night. Did you know last night. anything suspicious last night? No, sir. After the Baroness went to the school, I suppose we've got to talk to the violinist, haven't we? I was there until the alarm went off. I went to the side deck and arrived shortly after Professor Lucian and Miss Miller. We found you and Inspector Legrand there. You were unconscious, and the inspector asked us to take that? care of you. Professor's on the sh on the boat. Professor, um, I think it's Doctor Gehurt. No. Oh, the ah. Oh. Professor's on the boat. Yeah, the professor. Everybody's on the boat. I think. Worked for the Baron. Ah, it's the professor. He's got that bag. Only six months. I yes, he's got a lovely beard as well. Their employers for decades. Do you like beards, don't you? Do? Yeah, um, I'm just thinking. Point, Constable, no, it's her professor. former butler wasn't able to fulfil his duties any longer. Well, I don't, I don't get. Um, I understand. I took on his duties. Why someone was in his room trying to steal his uh, bag in the train? Yeah, no. Seems like everyone's up to something, doesn't it? Seems dodgy, yeah. Like the, the more got something off. to hide. Yeah. Did you hear it from the folks? No, just the alarm, sir. He's on his way to Egypt on a free trip, uh -huh. isn't he, um, Zelna? Yes. He like got himself a free ride. Don't know who managed that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to try that, do. Yeah, we're in holiday, holiday in no time. Well, we're just ourselves in the cabin down below, and uh, by the time we've got free, we'll be in the like. Why was well, that? Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to see. Yeah, and it'll be too late to go back. We're like, yeah. With the captain and the other passengers. She hadn't intended to take a nap then. That was not her way, sir. She had a lot of spirit, shall we say, when it came to social engagements and a glass or two of champagne. She used to sleep around. What? What the hell? I'm what? gonna ask him about stiff uh, arm. I told you she was a man. <laughs> to your arm. Oh, he's got stiff arm. Oh, okay, so. The war, sir. Doesn't it hinder your work? Yes, sir. Obviously. I didn't mean to offend you. The Baroness had a soft spot for disabled veterans. I think she'd been through a lot herself. <laughs> I think yeah, that's definitely. Awful. Yes. Please, that's so why she had to have a change. Yes. <laughs> have to clear me a big change. Suspicion. Okay, so... Is, is it me? Or does that look like a globe there? That, uh... Is Can like, I give that to him? No. It's like a portable bar. Where? Down. Down. Um. There. That. Yeah. Oh. Maybe. Antique wood. If Galileo hadn't asserted him. Uh. Exactly. Go to it. Looking up. Oh, you dummy! You would not want to look at it, do? Okay. So, so should we go in here? There's two in here. Is the violinist in here? Oh, oh Capitan. 
We'll just talk to the Capitan and they off it, we'll leave it, yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Capitan! Oh, it's got some nice music on. Captain De Conti is sitting at the bar. Oh, wow! Music! A glass of champagne oh, last I didn't realise she was in a wheelchair. Yeah. No, I do not, sure. Miss Wescacott. Hello, Captain De Conti. She's, uh, on her last legs. Well, actually, she's in a chair, but... Glad to see he's glad to see us, dear. It's because he looks like us. He's like our brother. Okay, I'll ask about this poison champagne. Because that really wrecked my night, that did. Lasted several hours. The last bottle of champagne, the one the Baroness drank from. Did anyone else drink from it? Certainly. We have reason to believe that the champagne was drugged. Incredible. Huh? But wouldn't that have made everyone drowsy? Not if it was only the Baroness's glass that was drugged. I oh, see. did they both drink from the same glass? On a night like that, many glasses are filled. Because that's a bit weird, isn't it? Maybe they didn't clean his glass at the uh Lummy now. Oh god. Some ship this is, I thought it was posh. In the glass? Yes, it's certainly possible. Aha. Uh -huh. My glass. The My glass handed me last night. Where did you get it? I got it from um Baroness's room. <laughs> you think your glass was poisoned as well? Did you pour it yourself? No. I saw that you weren't doing so well and wanted to rescue the situation. I took the first available glass and I give it to you. Was it on the table? Ah, oh, it's Baroness's no, glass. I hurry over to you to get oh. Dr. Gebhardt. Who... Think so? Of course. Yes. There's some weird goings on on this ship. It's going to turn into a ghost ship. I can see it happening. Everyone's going to kill each other. I could examine you. I took it from him and gave it to me. I'd like to apologize for that, but. You look so worse for the wear, and I just wanted to comfort you. So it was Dr. Gehert's glass, was it? For a new ah. Glass, you? Hmm. So the doctor uh -huh. had the drugged glass in his hand. The doctor? Yes, the doctor's suspicious. I, al I always thought he was What's suspicious. Experience of last night? I mean, pushing us out of the medical center? That's mm. not right behavior, is it? Maybe he didn't like the Baroness. Mm, maybe. Why didn't he just jump on her, like, on top of her? Well, she's dead. Ah, jump on you. All night long. That's wrong. <laughs> I have to care for my passengers. After you and the others rushed out, I tried to maintain a festive atmosphere. But when the alarm it goes off, I lose the battle. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we'll leave it here, yeah? Uh, yes. We'll say, ta ta. Bye bye for now. Adios, amigo. Anyway, uh, well, I think we'll leave it here. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll be back next time.